How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So Donner Musical Instruments just sent me this Donner DST-152 electric guitar. Still in the box, literally just arrived in the mail. And I thought it'd be fun today to shoot it out up against my PRS Silver Sky. This is my number one, my favorite guitar. Let's see how it compares. Um, because really we do have both ends of the guitar, you know, spectrum here in terms of pricing. So the Donner retails for about $200 if you buy it new. The PRS retails for about $3,000 if you include tax, pretty close to that. So pretty big price gap here. Uh, the saying is you get what you pay for. So let's see if that really is true today. And uh, yeah, let's let's compare these. So thanks for joining us. Uh, let's open up the Donner here. Let's see what it looks like. And uh, let's see how it compares up against the Silver Sky. All right, here we are. So yeah, first impressions. I really love the way this guitar looks. Uh, the tortoise shell pick guard, the black, the maple fretboard. It's, it's sort of got like a bit of a Pink Floyd vibe to it. Um, but yeah, really cool looking guitar. And I actually got the matching tortoise shell uh, backplate cover. So that's kind of cool too. And it's also worth noting too that for the price point on this Donner, you also get a few other things as well. So you get a gig bag. You get a guitar amplifier, which you wouldn't be able to use for gigs or anything like that. It's as tiny as they come, but for playing at home, it's sufficient for that. You also get a headstock tuner, some extra guitar picks, a capo, patch cable, and a guitar strap as well. So a few things to get you started, whereas the PRS uh, only comes with a gig bag. So anyways, yeah, let's put these two guitars head to head. Uh, it's going to be same pickup selections and same amp settings between guitars for each riff. And everything on the bridge pickup in the Donner is going to be using the coil split function so that it's single coil up against single coil all the time. All right, be sure to let us know your thoughts in the experiment uh, in the comments below. That's part of the fun about these is kind of chiming in. So I'd love to read the comments about this. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let's uh, let's get into the shootout. Let's play some riffs.
right, so let us know your thoughts. What did you think? Drop a comment below. Uh, if you're curious to hear my thoughts, personally, I do think the PRS sounded better. But does it sound 15 times better as reflected in the price? Uh, that really is up to you. And the other thing to mention, too, is that, you know, sound, although it's super important, is really only a fraction of what makes up a guitar, the reason why we buy a guitar. Um, you know, there's so many other things such as uh, craftsmanship, tuning stability, uh, playability, and, you know, when it does come to playability, the PRS is not a different league. It definitely blows the donner out of the water when it comes to playability. Uh, just... You know, this is ultra comfortable to play. You really can't beat it. And for the price, it's what you'd expect, right? That's that's not to bash the Donner at all, though. Because for $200, I'm super impressed with this. I do feel like, uh, you know, it feels more like a $400 guitar in the hands. You know, the tuning stability, it was quite good. And yeah, it does feel comfortable, you know, but... The, the PRS just, it is in a different league. But you know, if you're looking for like a first guitar, this is on an awesome choice. Or you know, maybe a more affordable backup guitar or just something to, you know, tweak around with. Uh, I would highly recommend this one. I'm quite sure you won't be disappointed. And plus it has coil split too. So that's always a nice bonus as well. All right, so let us know your thoughts in the comment section and be sure to hit that like button on the way out if you found any value in this video. I've also got a bunch of other shootout videos on the channel here as well, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'm Lon Eagleton. We'll see you in the next video.